Okay, now let's talk about power. What is power? Power is the rate of work done. Okay, rate of work done. So if you look at this definition, rate is about time and work done is uh, W. Okay, so rate of work, <coughs> so rate of work done is actually uh, work done over time. Okay, uh, we have uh, two types, so uh, not, not to say two types, uh, we have two uh, subjects to uh, study below power, which is average power and instantaneous power. Uh, just like before, okay, just like before you learn about average velocity, instantaneous velocity, or average acceleration, instantaneous acceleration. So power also have the same thing, average power and instantaneous power. Okay, so the difference is also the same. Average power is about a certain period of time. Huh? A total time taken, a certain period of time. Um, so maybe for a whole journey, yeah, for the whole journey. Uh, but for instantaneous power, it is the power at certain time. Uh, power at particular time. Okay, uh, so what I can say is um, maybe uh, average power is uh, total time. That means it takes the time of the whole journey. Okay, probably is... Uh, what I can say, maybe it's the whole journey. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe it's a time from uh, 0 second up to 18 second. Uh, okay. Uh, but for instantaneous power, it's power at certain time. Maybe power at only uh, 3 second. Uh, only power at that time. Okay. Uh, that's the difference. So the formula, let's look at the formula. Yeah. So what I can say is uh, if you look at uh, how to derive the formula for instantaneous power, actually it's the limit from the original formula delta W over delta T. Uh, so this is actually a limit. Okay, limit. That means um, if you learn about mathematics, you know how to limit. Limit, limit normally we differentiate, isn't it? We differentiate. Uh, so okay but before we look at this okay let's let us first look at the average power the formula the original formula for power okay average power is actually total work done okay or delta w divided by the total time uh, delta t uh, it takes to do it okay so which is the total work done okay for that time frame that time period divided by the total time taken Ah, okay, that's the average power. So, uh, and then the unit for power is watt. Okay, if uh, uh, the, the, the symbol is W, okay, uh, so it's watt, yeah, watt, W A T T. Ah, so watt is also uh, joule per second because we know uh, this work done is the unit joule, huh? and then the time is second. Uh, so, joule per second uh, is the unit for power okay or what now what is the both of them are si unit for power okay so that's the uh, whole journey okay P average power now how to find the power at certain time at particular time maybe uh, power at only three seconds yeah at the time three seconds okay so power delivered to the object at particular time or certain time like time equal to three seconds uh, then we have to limit this formula okay delta w over delta t limit by differentiation so p is dw over dt okay uh, we put in the formula for work done w is actually fs cos theta okay w is fs cos theta isn't it uh, so we differentiate uh, we assume we assume uh, force constant and the uh, direction of the force also constant Okay, that's why the angle theta also constant. Uh, we assume uh, here we can say, um, all right, uh, here we assume the force and theta constant. Okay, so when these two are constant, uh, they can be taken out. Yeah, for this f, sorry, for this f and cos theta can be taken out from the differentiation. Okay, just left with the displacement. Uh, displacement, of course, is changing because the object is moving. Yeah, the object is moving 
uh, surely the displacement uh, increasing, isn't it? Displacement increasing. So displacement is uh, not constant. Okay, so inside the differentiation, now we differentiate displacement with time. Differentiate displacement with time, we get velocity. Uh, for for this one, ds dt, we get velocity. Uh, okay, so that's that's how we get the velocity. Uh, so the formula, you see, power is actually f v cos theta. Uh, for work done, if you look at the compare with the formula for work done, work done is for force time displacement cosine theta. But power, uh, but for power, it is f v cos theta. Uh, if work done is f s cos theta. Uh, if we make it into a dot product, it is actually f dot s, isn't it? Uh, f dot s. So for power, also similar because it has the same, uh, you know, same um, structure. This is f s cos theta. This one is just change the s into v because differentiate d s over d t, we get v. Uh, so f v cos theta, the f s cos theta become f dot s. So f v cos theta become f dot v. Uh, okay. So what we can say is, uh, we can say uh, like this. Ah, uh, look at here. Ah, uh, so uh, power is actually the dot product between f and v, uh, whereas work done is the dot product between f and s. You see, power is dot product between f and v, and work done is dot product between f and s. The difference is just uh, displacement s with velocity v uh, between power and work done. Okay, so that's how we get the formula for instantaneous power okay instantaneous power is the power delivered to the object at particular time a certain time okay so it is the, it, the formula for the instantaneous power is the dot product instantaneous power is actually the dot product between f and v just like work done dot product between f and s so f dot v we get f v cos theta uh, dot product always use cosine remember dot product always use cosine uh, cosine theta okay don't use don't use sine theta sine theta is for uh, cross product uh, is for cross product yeah uh, don't use the sine theta it's always the cosine theta okay so velocity here is a uh, velocity at particular time uh, also uh, velocity at certain time so if let's say you want to find power instantaneous power at three seconds so you need to use the velocity at three second. Uh, find out the velocity at three second. Uh, then you put into the formula v here, because we know that the velocity changing over time. Velocity is not constant. Uh, velocity is uh, not constant. Uh, what I can write over here. Uh, okay. So velocity is actually uh, not constant. Uh, it keep changing over time. So, to find the instantaneous power at certain time, you need to find out the velocity at that time and put into the velocity here huh? because velocity not constant. Okay, however, there are situations where the velocity is always constant. Okay, uh, however, there are certain situations where the velocity uh, for the whole journey, let's say the velocity for the whole journey is always constant, uh, yeah, that means the net force is zero. Okay, constant velocity for the whole journey, v, v constant for the whole journey. Then that situation is uh, the power average, power average for the whole journey will be equal to the power instantaneous at any time. Uh, power instantaneous at any time. So for that kind of questions uh, with constant velocity, let's say the question wants you to find the average power. Okay, average power, you can actually use the formula for instantaneous power at any time for to find the average power uh, because they are equal. Uh, so for condition where constant velocity, remember this one, for constant velocity only, for constant velocity only, the, if you want to find the average power, uh, you can use the formula for instantaneous power, Fv cos theta, to find the value of average power, uh, Fv cos theta. Because the velocity here, look at here, the velocity here 
is constant, the same for the whole time. Uh, so this velocity maintain constant all the time. That's why average power is equal to instantaneous power at any time. For that question, you can use the formula for instantaneous power to find average power. Uh, but if the if the velocity is not constant, if the velocity is not constant, uh, and velocity is not constant, and you are asked to find average power, you cannot use F V cos theta to find average power. Cannot. Okay. If the velocity is not constant, you cannot you cannot use uh, the instantaneous power formula F V cos theta to find average power. Cannot. Yeah. If the velocity is not constant. To find average power, you can only use delta, uh, delta W over delta T uh, to find average power. Okay, but if the question says velocity is constant, yes, you can use the formula for instantaneous power, FV cos theta, to find average power. Okay, now, okay, now there's one situation, uh, normally this is the situation. Okay, I want to explain about this also. Yeah, very important. Okay, have I uh, covered everything here? Okay, remember power is the rate of work done. Rate of work done. So sometimes the question, uh, he didn't say what is the power. Ah, uh, here the question doesn't say uh, what is the power. Very direct. Uh, what is the power? Uh, find the value of determine the power. Uh, determine the power. Okay. Uh, uh, maybe I should write. Sorry. Uh, maybe uh, the question didn't say uh, determine power uh, at any time. Uh? Uh, determine the average power. No. The question will ask another way. He said determine the rate of work done. Uh, determine the rate of work done. So he didn't the question didn't mention power, but he mentioned rate of work done. Uh, determine the rate of work done. Uh, average rate of work done uh, yeah, of something. So you must know rate of work done is not work done it is the power because there is a word rate there uh, so you must be careful the question asks about work done or rate of work done okay if rate of work done means got time uh, got time is uh, work done over time so that means it's power not work done uh, okay uh, be careful now uh, uh, last thing i want to explain is this one Okay. Okay. Last thing I want to explain is about this. If the question says uh, asked about uh, power delivered, supplied, developed by engine or machine, yeah, machine and engine is almost the same uh, to the car or object. Uh, find out what is the power, average power or in instantaneous power. Uh, de delivered by you know delivered by engine to the car or supplied by engine to the car or developed by engine to the car yeah power delivered by engine to the car or supplied or developed by engine to the car okay so how to how to find this power what kind of power is this okay so it may have a uh, two situation maybe the question asks about average power because he let's say huh, he didn't mention time huh? He didn't, uh, didn't, if he didn't specify, didn't specify time, uh, yeah, didn't specify at what time, means it is uh, you finding average power. If he specify, he specify uh, uh, the power at time, let's say specify time, power at time, 3 seconds. Uh, power at time 3 seconds. Then that is the instantaneous power. Okay? But this is not our focus here. This is our, not our focus here. Our focus here is what kind of... Okay, our focus here is let's say the question uh, uh, asks about average power. Okay. Um, let's say the question asks to find average power. Okay? Or power delivered by engine to the car. Yeah, look carefully. Power delivered by engine, delivered by engine to the car. So, uh, we know the average power is work done over time. Okay, but what kind of work done? Because we learned uh, different. You see, this object has different forces. It has the uh, uh, force of engine to the front. 
it has the normal force, it has the gravitational force, it has the frictional force. At last, it, at last, it has the net force. Ah, uh, net force is we use the uh, engine force minus minus the friction. Then we get the net force. So work done by by what force? Is it which one? Which one we use? Which one we use? Ah, uh, look carefully here. Look carefully here. Yeah, again, I, uh, I just want to highlight this one. Power delivered by who? By engine. Or supply or developed by engine to the car. So, which work done we're going to put in the formula of power here? Because the top here is actually work done, isn't it? Delta work done. But what kind of work done is this one? What kind of work done? What kind of work done we put for this one? Ah, uh, what kind of work done we put for this one? Ah. Uh, do we use the force of engine, or use the normal force, or use the friction, or use the gravitational force, or use the net force? Which one? Look carefully. Power delivered by engine to the car. Ah, so this one, we focus on force of engine. Ah, force of engine. Power. Power delivered by engine. So it's the force by engine to the car, not the, not the net force. Don't put the net force. Ah, uh, not so it's not it's not the work done by net force. It's not the work done by net force. It's the work done by force of engine. Ah, uh, work done by force of engine to the car. So it's not the net force. Okay? And of course it's not the work done by normal force, not the work done by frictional force, not the work done by gravitational force. There's nothing to do. Okay? And most importantly is not the not the power, not the work done by net force. Uh, it is the work done by force of engine. So remember, remember that. Uh, work done by force of engine only. So if work done by force of engine, we use the force of engine. Uh, we don't use, we don't use the, you know, we don't use the net force. We don't, don't use the net force. Use the force of engine. Uh, to multiply as cos theta. Yeah, work done formula is Fs cos theta. Uh, don't use the net force, use the force of engine. Okay, over delta t. Uh, and then if the question asks for instantaneous power, what's the instantaneous power delivered by engine to the car or object? Okay, uh, that one also use the force of engine. Force of engine dot velocity. Ah, uh, force of engine dot velocity. So again, use this force, force of engine, because it's by who? By machine, by engine, by machine, by engine. So it's a force of engine. It's not, it's not the net force. Ah, uh, okay. It's not the net force. Uh, I just want to tell you this one. It's not the net force. It's the force of engine. Multiply velocity uh, at that time, the time three seconds. Uh, uh, cos theta velocity, uh, you know, velocity at three seconds, uh, cos theta. If the question asks for uh, power at three seconds, then you use velocity at three seconds, okay? And normally, uh, if we compare the, we want to find theta, theta normally we compare the force of engine, force of engine with displacement, uh, force of engine with displacement. In this case, in this case, the force of engine. Force of engine with displacement is zero degree. Uh, so the theta we put zero. Okay, because we compare between force of engine and displacement. Uh, it is uh, zero degree. Uh, so here theta here also uh, compare between force of engine with velocity. So in this case, I think velocity also in the same direction. Velocity also in the same direction. So we can compare between force of engine with velocity. So, uh, force of engine with velocity also zero degree. Uh, also zero degree when we compare between force of engine and velocity. Okay, so that is a question for power delivered by engine to the car. Yeah? Uh, so, uh, I think that's it yeah, for uh, power and uh, we go to the next video.